It would be difficult to find a person who had a deep and serious thought about the scale of outer space in our universe and didn't feel the utter chilling to the bone terror. Endless empty space, terrifying black holes able to practically erase matter, and trillions of strange worlds, exoplanets that are so distant and mysterious that they seem unattainable. Today, we'll tell you about six incredible exoplanets with conditions that resemble real hell, just floating through space entirely isolated, and some even fooling astronomers. Music First is Koro 7 Bits. First on the list is an exoplanet with a very exotic precipitation, and no umbrella will help you unless it's made from titanium. Meet Koro 7 Bits, a planet where it constantly rains rocks. The size of this unusual planet is just over 1.5 times the size of Earth. Its age is about 1.5 billion years. It's relatively close, only 489 light years from us. Back in 2019, when Koro 7 Bits was first discovered, scientists considered it the first rocky exoplanet that resembles Earth. However, we classify it as uninhabitable, with 0% probability of life on the planet. If you're ever lucky enough to watch the sunrise on this planet, the sunrise would be the last thing that ever happens to you. The rays of the morning star, Koro 7 from the Monoceros or Unicorn constellation, will turn you into ash as soon as the sun appears over the horizon. The reason sunrise on this planet is so much brighter is due to the fact Koro 7 bits is 60 times closer to its star than we are to our sun. In essence, the visible size of the Koro 7 star is 360 times larger than the way we see the sun. The temperature on the sunny side of the planet can reach 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit or 2,600 degrees Celsius, which makes the surface hot enough to melt and vaporize rocks. Next, something incredible happens. Hot vaporized rock rises to the upper atmosphere where condensation happens, turning the vapors into fine gravel during the colder front passing, which leads to the small rock fragments falling to the ground, better known as literal rock rain. Looking deeper into it, some theoretical models suggest you can come across an entire ocean of lava on this planet. The situation is made even more dire due to the fact the planet is locked in this position, with the fire and sulfur side always facing the host star. At the same time, the other side of the planet is very cold, with surface temperatures reaching as low as negative 390 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 235 degrees Celsius. Astronomers think that Koro 7 bits formed initially as a gas giant, which was 100 times larger than Earth, but as it moved closer to its star, the gas membrane was getting thinner under the influence of the solar wind until all that was left was the rocky core. Such is the unenviable past of Koro 7 bits and the no less terrifying present. We hope the rough conditions of that world didn't put you off because we're moving on to the next planet. Although the next horrifying world doesn't have the same inferno-like conditions, it certainly fits into the category of places you never want to go near. Trying to get to J1470, you would come across an endless belt of rock and ice. It's tempting to compare this massive gas giant to our Saturn because it's surrounded by gigantic rings, except they're 200 times wider than the ones around Saturn. Saturn only has three main rings. J1470 has 30 rings spanning over 110 million miles. Now let that sink in, that's 20% more than the distance from Earth to the Sun, which is 93 million miles, or 1.2 astronomical units. For comparison, the radius of Saturn's largest ring is only about 300,000 miles. Rings of this scale only form thanks to mass destruction of a planet's satellites, so what might have happened? It's likely that the mass of J1470 he is between 10 and 40 times the mass of Jupiter. That's a huge celestial body, the gravity of which just ripped the satellites apart. There's another theory that J1407 is not a gas giant, but an actual protostar 
that was never able to become a brown dwarf. Currently, there's no consensus in the scientific community as to how to properly classify such objects. Another argument towards the theory that Che 1407 is an incomplete star is the fact that the object moves along its orbit around the host star, as opposed to around the mutual center of gravity like happens with a dual star system. What's amazing is that these huge rings have a mass of only 7.34 x 10 carat 21 tons, why only this impressive number is comparable to Earth's mass, 5.9 x 10 carat 21. In the history of J1407 b, there could have been many amazing and frightening events, and one of them could have been a collision with a satellite with a mass somewhere between Earth and Mars. The trace of this encounter, a large gap in the rings of J1407 b. Speaking of which, thanks to these gaps, the scientists managed to discover this planet. Using the transit observation method, the scientists managed to find out not only the size, but also the position of the rings around the planet. Take a look at the visualization of the Saturn rings, a truly magnificent sight. We can only imagine what kind of view we can have if we were on Ju 1407 or one of its satellites, but this view would definitely cost us a jaw because ours would be dropped. Now we're heading closer to home. About 80 light years from the sun is an object that can be rightfully crowned as one of the loneliest in the universe. The interesting thing about the planet with a complex name, PSOG 318.5-22, is that it doesn't revolve around a star. PSOG 318 belongs to the special classification of planets called rogue planets, sometimes called orphans or nomads. These planets are ejected from their planetary system and now they just wander through the endless emptiness of space. Paradoxically, the absence of a bright star only played into the hands of astronomers. They can directly observe the light of PSOG 318 without it being overshadowed by the host star. Since the surveillance is performed using the one-pound panoramic survey telescope and rapid response system, PAN-STARS, the excess light really hinders observation from Earth. It allowed them to take hundreds of infrared photographs, which revealed that the planet is eight times larger than our Jupiter, and much brighter too. Shifts in its brightness showed that the planet does a complete turn every five hours and has several layers of thick and thin clouds with a temperature around 1470 degrees Fahrenheit. Surveillance performed by a group of astronomers using the New Technology Telescope at the European Southern Observatory in Chile allowed them to create one of the first somewhat accurate weather forecasts for a celestial body beyond the solar system. And now, a quick weather report. We're expecting a cloudy but very warm day with dust storms, several times the speed of sound and possible precipitation in the form of molten iron rain. The estimated age of the planet is around 12 million years old. Scientists don't know exactly how such planets are formed, but they theorize that such objects were either unsuccessful stars, gas giants several times as large as Jupiter, or planets ejected from young planetary systems after encountering another planet and under the influence of its gravitational field. After being cut off from the gravitational influence, they don't return to their original system, doomed to drift through space until they're pulled into the gravitational field of another star system. As a result, there's an issue with the classification of PSOG 318 and similar planets because many scientists tend to refer to such objects as sub-brown dwarfs, hinting at their temporary state, not yet a star, but not quite a planet as we know it. Although scientists have records of quite a few rogue planets, this is only the beginning of their research. We're likely to be amazed by the news of the properties of these incredible interstellar objects in the future. We're moving on to witness the slow merry-go-round of death, a place where we find Weyus 12 bits, a planet labeled by scientists as doomed. Being on its surface is impossible for a number of reasons, but the most significant one is that the planet is literally torn apart by its host star, piece by piece, sending it out into outer space. 
According to its characteristics, Weiss 12 bits is a gas giant with a radius about twice the size of Jupiter's. However, unlike Jupiter, which performs one full revolution around the Sun in 12 Earth years, Weiss 12 bits fully revolves around its host star in one day. Such speeds create unbelievable tidal forces on the surface of the planet, causing it to distort. The scientists' calculations are accurate. Was 12 bits is shaped more like an egg than a sphere. Astronomers estimate that the planet won't be able to withstand such torture much longer, a maximum of 10 million years, after which the planet will completely fall apart, forming a gas and dust cloud that will be gradually consumed by the star. Furthermore, the planet speeds up as it exchanges matter with its star. Until this moment, the scientists thought this type of exchange was only possible between stars. The case of Weyes 12 bits is the first confirmed case of this phenomenon happening to an exoplanet. This gravitational dance really heats up the planet, making it reach temperatures up to 4,100 degrees Fahrenheit, making any possibility of life on its surface obsolete. But five years after the planet was discovered, the Hubble telescope managed to use the spectroscopy method to detect signs of a water stream, an incredible discovery considering the conditions on this planet. Another shocking discovery is that the hard surface of this planet, if it indeed exists, can be made of graphite and diamonds. The reason for that is the high concentration and density of carbon in the composition of the planet. Some media outlets even nicknamed Weyes 12 bits the Diamond Planet. But for now, scientists are more inclined to think the vast majority of the carbon is contained in the planet's atmosphere in the form of carbon monoxide and methane. In conclusion, the study of exoplanets continues to be a frontier of exploration and discovery, offering tantalizing possibilities for understanding planetary diversity and the potential for life elsewhere in the cosmos.